The fishing mechanic in Stardew Valley is without a doubt one of my favorite parts of the game. It's a very challenging mechanic, a new, fresh, fun take on fishing within games, and I love how it offers different challenges for people of different skill levels. You can try to obtain a perfect catch in which the fish never leaves the little bar that you use to catch them, or there are chests that appear that are difficult to capture without letting your fish go. For all of its fun, this mechanic has been really punishing to a lot of people, especially beginners, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to make a tool that lets you practice your fishing skills inside Stardew Valley. So this is what I came up with. Obviously, it doesn't look as nice as the fishing in the game, but I think I came really close to matching the functionality. If you click or tap around on the screen, uh, it raises the little bar. Anytime you want, you can spawn fish of different difficulty and try to catch them. The fish being represented by this little yellow diamond. If you feel like the fishing behaves a little differently for you based on your platform or, or whatever differences you see, you can adjust the settings of the behavior over to the right with these buttons. I try to keep everything as simple as possible and just offer the opportunity to practice catching fish. If you want to try this yourself, you can check out the link in the description for the itch.io page where this is hosted, and I'll also add the GitHub repository where you can check out the Godot code. So after I threw together the rough assets that you still see in this project, my first real challenge was recreating the movement of the bar from Stardew Valley. I thought that in general it moved like everything else would, in the sense that it has velocity that's affected by acceleration. You hold the button or the bar, and uh, the bar moves faster, right? So acceleration. The code for this behavior is pretty simple. You just increase the velocity by the acceleration until you reach whatever is defined as the max velocity. To achieve the bouncing at the bottom of the bar, I just detect when the bar is going to hit the bottom and multiply its velocity by negative 0.5. So it slowly bounces to a stop. Overall, not too complicated. So whenever the bar is moving, I'm just constantly calculating a target of where the bar will be based on its current velocity. And if it's outside of the bounds of the fishing column, then I just make the bar stop there. After that, I just needed the fish. My initial thought was that the fish should just pick a random location along the fishing column and then move to that spot. Perfect for tween nodes in Godot. For difficulty, I'd be able to adjust how quickly it gets to that spot and how often it chooses a new spot to move to. For example, it may move and then wait one second or it may wait five seconds. That's still mostly what I ended up doing, but I added another couple of parameters that let me define a minimum distance and a maximum distance for the fish to travel. So as the fish gets more difficult to catch, when it chooses a new spot, it will always choose a spot that is farther away than the minimum distance, meaning that the player will rarely be able to keep the bar in the same spot. For polishing up the tool, I added the options to adjust the behavior of the bar and just some messages that play out when you either catch or lose a fish. And that's pretty much it. Remember, you can play around with this project or see the code with the links in the description. If you don't already own Stardew Valley, make sure you go and buy it. It's the most amazing game in the world. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.